Like, right, give me the book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse number 35. Give me the book of Exodus, right, chapter 2 and verse 23. Hey, brother, what's your nationality, brother? Israelite. Israelite. That's right. Say it louder, brother. You got to say it like you believe it. Israelite. What's your nationality? Israelite. 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 Break that out, kid. The book of Baruch 4 and 35. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. And she shall be inhabited of devils. What the law say? And she shall be inhabited of devils. Our whole land was inhabited by devils, man. Who kicked the door down and is dwelling in our land right now? The so-called white man. The Bible just says she shall be inhabited by devils. Read. For a great time. For a what? For a great time. For a great time because we were brought in slavery and bondage to this land now. Read. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from God. Lo, thy sons come, who thou sent us away. They come gathered together. They do what? They, they come, come gathered together. together. What are we doing? They, they come, come gathered, gathered together. together. They come gathered together. That's what we're doing right now, brother. Right. We come and gather it together to show you your God-given nationality. Right. You're not black. You're not a Negro. Right. You're not a fool. Right. You're not a gangster. You're not just some old man that they look and they point at. You're an Israelite, man. Right. A son of God. Read. They come gathered together from the east to the west. By the word of the Holy One. By the word of the Holy One. Bring that out. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 22. Start at 23. Bring that out. This is the book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 23. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. And the children of Israel signed by the by reason of the bondage. They did what? Signed by reason of the bondage. Who's always signing? Always marching, always crying, always protesting, always stomping their feet, always rioting. It's only one nation of people. You don't see the Moabites and all their different nations screaming for justice and for peace. We're the ones signing for all of the bondage, all of the slavery, all of the back pains, the ailments, getting locked up, getting killed unjustly. These are the things that happen to the Israelites. Read that part again. God. And it came to pass in the process of time, in the process of time, that the king of Egypt died. And the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried. And their cry came up unto the Most High. And their what? And their cry came up unto the Most High. The only thing that's going to save us is the Most High God. Coming back to our God, and his real name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shah. We have to cry back to the Heavenly Father as we did in the days of old. What happened in the time of Esther, man? We cried it to the Most High God, man. Right. What happened during the time of Egypt, man? We cried it to the Most High God. Right. We're living in our last captivity, and we're still going to cry out to the Most High God, man. That's the only way the Most High is going to deliver us. Read. By reason of the bondage. By reason of all of the bondage, man. And we're sick of this place. Right. Give me the book of Second Andrew chapter 6 and verse 25. We're sick of this place. Bring that up. It's the book of Psalms. Give me the book 79 of and 10. 10. No. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? Hey, wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? Because right. as they look at us, they forgot their God, man. Their God is weed. Their God is drugs. Their God is a so-called white man. Their God is Christianity. Right. Their God is entertainment. Right. Their God is celebrities. Right. Wherefore would the heathen say, where is their God? Read. Let him be known among the heathen. What the Lord say? Let him be known among the heathen. What are we doing right now? Let him be known among the heathen. We're not loud enough. Let him be known among the heathen. Let him be known, the Let him be known in the cheap places in the city, man. Let the heathen know that our God is your home, man. That our God is going away. That our God is still here. That he forget about his people. We Let him be known among the heathen in our sight. By the revenging of the blood. By the what? By the revenging of the blood. By the revenging of the blood, brother. Oh, God, oh, look at these signs, man. What do you see when you look at this sign, brother? You see death. You see murder. You see castration. Right. The most I forget about that, man. We ain't forget about that. Really? Right. Salam. By the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed, let the sign of the prisoner come before thee. Who's the prisoner? Who's always signed? Who's always locked up? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You don't see all of these other nations locked up. You don't see us locked up, man. Us in the streets, getting shackled up, thrown in the back of police cars, taken and thrown behind bars, read. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee. Let the sign of the prisoner come before the Most High God. So God didn't forget about us, brother. He didn't forget about you. He didn't forget about that you don't know your God-given nationality, man. That you may be poor in the streets. That you don't know anything about your forefathers and your forefathers, man. He didn't forget about none of those things, man. 
according to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die, and render unto our neighbors sevenfold unto their bosom. What the Lord say? And render yeah. unto our neighbors sevenfold unto their bosom. We gotta render like sevenfold. Bring that over the book of Psalms, chapter 102, verse 20. The book of Psalms, chapter 102, verse 20. Yeah. To hear the groaning of the prisoner. What the Lord say? To hear the groaning of the prisoner. Who's all groaning out here, man? You see the so called white man and woman, they laughing and dancing in the streets, right. man. Right. They're on a the party band, yeah. or just having fun. Yeah. They're just wicked, man. Right. All right. of these other nations, they're enjoying their life. Right. They have businesses, right. they have loans, right. five world craze. Right. Look there in the sky, they have leaf and bud and pick weed for sale, and all men are wickedness in this place, man. We're the only people that are signed in crime. Read that again. To hear the groaning of the prisoner. What do we do when we march? To hear the groaning of the prisoner. What do we do when we pray? To hear the groaning of the prisoner. What do we do in the streets? To hear the groaning of the prisoner. To lose those that are appointed to death. Who's appointed to death, man? Who's appointed to death? Look at Emmett Till, man. He was appointed to death. Look at all of our fathers that have been raped, robbed, slain, and murdered. These things happen to the Israelites. Don't say black no more, man. Don't say Negro no more. Don't say African American no more. Brother, who are you according to the Bible? Say it again, brother. You are Israelite, man. To declare the name of the Lord. What do we have to do to declare the name of the Lord? We have to declare the name of Yahweh Shemi Abishah, man. You think the Most High gonna get off his throne, come to earth, twirl amongst the wicked and proclaim it? No, he did it by his servants, the prophets, man. Give me the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. We have to proclaim the name of the Most High God back on the earth. Bring that out. Second Chronicles 20 and 20. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness Read. of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and me, said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Read. Believe in Yahweh. Do what? Believe in Yahweh. Read. Your God. Soon shall ye be established. That's how we're going to be established when we believe in the Most High, man. Read. Read. Believe his prophets. Do what? Believe his prophets. What the Lord say? Believe his prophets. Believe his prophets in what? So shall you prosper. So shall ye prosper, man. When you hear the words of the Most High, by the servants, the prophets. Bring that up. First Samuel 20 and verse 3. And David swear, moreover, and said, Thy father certainly knoweth that I have found grace in thine eyes. And he saith, Let not Jonathan know this, lest he be grieved. But truly, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul live, there is but a step between me and death. I'm tired of being in a step between me and death, man. Right. Tired of coming outside and fearing for my life, man. Right. Seeing my brother shot down in the streets. Right. It's but a step between us and death every single time we come outside, man. Yeah. Read that part again. Good. And David swore moreover and said, Thy father certainly knoweth that I have found grace in thine eyes. And he saith, Let not Jonathan know this, lest he be grieved. But truly, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, there is but a step. There is but a step between brothers going back in the world, man. There is but a step right when the damn lights go out. Ain't no brothers around for you freaking off and going the hell off, man. There is but a step for you not reading for the day, man. Not fasting for the week. There is but a step from you proclaiming the words of the Most High to you proclaiming this peace that we living in, man. Brothers got to be on fire to get the hell up out of here, man. And the Lord hates the Enoch to deliver him amongst the wicked. Read. There is but a step between me and death. Right, if we was down here 20 more years, what the hell would happen, man? How many brothers will fall away? We got to get the hell out of here now. We got to throw up the curses. We got to proclaim the words of the Mosai. Right. We got to travel to many cities. Right. We got to say death to the wicked. Right. Death to the so-called white right. man. Right. Death to the demons. Right. Death to everything wicked, man. Right. Give me the book of 2nd verse 25. Give me the book of 2nd Edges chapter 8 and verse 50. Read. 2nd Edges 6 and verse 25. Right. Whosoever remaineth from all these. Hey, the Lord said, whosoever remaineth. Bombs are going to hit the earth. Pestilence is going to hit the earth. Famine is going to hit the earth. It's going to be a great falling away. It's going to be a lot of men that flee from the Mosa in the last days. The Lord said, Whosoever, which is the elect that remain in the last days, that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. And the what? And the end of your world. What's happening in the last days? And the end of your world. And the men that are received shall see it. Who have not tasted death? What are these men out here? Who have We're not tasted death? What is that like? Who have not tasted death? What? From their birth system. Birth.
death, man. It's brothers standing out here that ain't never taste of death, man. It's brothers standing out here that most are willing to go get beefed up, man. There's brothers standing out here that are immortal as we speak, man. Free and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit, and the truth which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be declared. declared. Shall, shall, shall be, be declared. declared. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be declared. declared. Hold that. Bring that out. The book of Second Hadrus, 8 and verse 50. Right. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, Bring. because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Hey, the Lord says, seek out the glory of such that be like thee, man. We can't dwell amongst the wicked of this land. Hey, young brother. Young brother, come hear the words of God, brother. Come, in, come on up here and hear the words of the Lord. Let's talk it up for the young brother. Well, when you see yourself right on the sun, King, what would this world call you? Would they call you a so-called African-American? A Negro? A so-called black man? What would they call you, brother? You don't got to be shy, brother. It's okay. You family, brother. That's right. So what do you say, young brother? They call you a Negro, an African-American? What do they call you in school? A Negro? Right. Do you find the term Negro, African-American man in the Bible? That's not in the Bible. So you got to ask yourself, why am I calling yourself these things that my oppressor labeled? The oppressor called you a Negro. The oppressor called you an African American, a nigger, and all of these bow words. The Heavenly Father never called you that. What did the Lord call you, King? Let's go to Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. That showed his young mighty King what the Most High called them in the last days. Well, and lift your head up, King. Lift that head up. Hear the words of the Most High. Bring that up. Romans 11 verse 1 I say then have the most high cast away his people and the Lord didn't cast us away contrary to popular belief the whole world is acting like it's a big mystery who the Israelites are man like they don't exist anymore give me the book of Romans chapter 16 and verse 25 give me Colossians chapter 2 and verse 26 read God, God forbid what the Lord say God, God forbid. forbid right meaning no read but I also am an Israelite. What is this young king? But I also am an Israelite. What is this young king? But I also am an Israelite. What did the Lord call you, king? For I also am a what? Israelite. Read. Right. Of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Don't let anybody ever again call you anything other than your God-given nationality, man. You got to proclaim and get that back in the last days. Bring that up. Romans 16 and 25. Now to him. That is of power to establish you according to my gospel Preach. and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation according of the mystery. According to the revelation of the what? Of the mystery. Of the mystery. It's a mystery of the earth that you are Israelite. They don't want you to know that, man. Uh -huh. They want you to think that you're just a nigga popping willy damn fool with his pants sagged down, smoking blunts, right, just to get locked up in these inner streets, man. They don't want you to know the mysteries in the last days. The mysteries are being revealed. Right, this thing isn't a secret no more, man. The servants of the most high on the highways and byways proclaiming the truth. Read. According to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret. Which was what? Which was kept secret. This thing was kept secret. Right, when this book used to be open, it used to be taught by a so-called white man. What was it ever taught by the true servant to the Most High? Now the church, what does the church teach you, young man? What they teach you? About God. What do they teach you about God? What have you ever learned in church? You ever been to church? Never been to church. What do you see on the TVs and the movies and the media of church? Just not but singing and dancing and mirth. You don't ever find out the truth according to the Bible in the churches. Because the churches are teaching the truth. Right. The churches are lying to our people, man. Right. The truth is right in front of you, young brother. Right. The truth is these scriptures right in front of you. Right. The right. truth right. is who are you according to the Bible. Right. 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 I can't hear you. Say, love. Say it in the mic, young brother. Proclaim who you are with your head high. Say it louder. Proclaim it louder. Israelite. There you go, brother. That's the truth, man. You an Israelite according to the
the Bible. We go. Yeah, that was it. All right, bring that out. Colossians chapter one and verse twenty-six. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages. From ages and ages. Our grandfathers didn't know they were Israelites, some of them. Huh? Our grandmothers and all of our fathers, they didn't know they were Israelites. They were in slavery. Right. They were in chains. This thing was been here secret from ages, read. And from generations. But now it's made manifest. For what? But now it's made manifest. But now it's made manifest. But now it's made manifest. Now it's made manifest. To his saints. To his saints, man. That's a very great honor to be able to hear the words of the Most High and receive it and understand that you're an Israelite. You know who else was an Israelite? The most famous man that ever walked the earth. Mm. Take a wild guess, young brother. The one that did miracles. You said what? Mm. Right, that's fine, though. Let's go to Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 13. Let's talk about our Lord real fast. Now, how do you think the Lord looked? You said black, white was he look just like you, don't he? Got hair like wool, brown skin. How'd that make you feel that our Lord looked just like you? I can't hear you. Just good? Just good? Good is finding a five dollar right, bill right, on the right, ground. Right, right, right. You know, good is just using the making it on work on time, huh? How does it feel that your creator and his beloved son look just like you? Well, let's read it. Let's bring it out. Revelation 1 and 13. Yeah. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, right. one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. We're getting a description of our Lord. Can you say Yahawasha? Yahawasha. Yeah, you can take your hood off when you say the Lord's name. Yahawasha. There you go, young brother. That's the real name of what the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right now, we're getting a description of our Lord. Right? Let's read it again slow. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly hair? What do you have on the top of your head? Woolly hair. Right? The Lord have hair just like you. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Uh-oh, we get into his skin complexion. Now his feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Take a wild guess, brother. Brass is a brown color. Like a bronze. And the Lord said his skin, his feet was likened unto bronze. Brass. Read. As if they burnt in a furnace. I thought it was the Lord. As if they burnt in a furnace. The Lord was so dark. There was no other way to describe him other than he was burnt alive in the furnace, man. That's how dark the Lord was, man. So when you see dark skin, you're supposed to be proud of that. That's something to honor in. That our forefathers and our foremothers had dark skin. Our melanated people. You're not to hate yourself, man. Just because you have dark skin. That's literally an honor because the Lord looked just like that, man. You're supposed to love who you are, brother. You're supposed to love your kinky hair. You're supposed to love every attribute the most I made about you, man. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. The classic. Give me 2 Chronicles, chapter 24 and verse 2. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people. The Lord said that you're in holy people. What's your name, young brother? Demarion. Demarion. Right, how old are you? 13. Give me 2 Chronicles, hold that. 24 and verse 1. The Second Chronicles 24 1. No. Joash was seven years old. Now you had a young king in the Bible. He was seven years old. So the youth, the Lord's dealing with the youth, man. Right. You had even kings that ruled that was younger than you. Right. That looked just like you, man. Right. Imagine the boy. He just mm. he had your shoulders. Right. He telling you what to do with a crown on. Right. Walking around with a damn supperture in his hand. Send it to the hut. Then all of the men of war stand up. Right. These seven years old walking around with a damn crown on his head, man. Right. So the young brothers look just like you with dark skin, woolly hair, was running things in the Bible, man. Right. How'd that make you feel, brother? Excited, all praises. Read that again. The second Chronicles 24 1. Joash was seven years old. He was just seven years old. When he began to reign. When he began to reign, man. Huh? And you begin to reign today, understanding right. that you are an Israelite, man. Huh? Right. This is your time to reign as a future king on the earth, read. Right? When he began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. 40 years, man. Right. 
But guess what? Your reigning isn't going to end. Once you repent and come back to the Most High, you're going to reign forevermore. Give me that in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, and verse 18, man. You're going to reign forevermore once you start keeping these commandments. Right, now let's get uh, the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. To be niggas in the street. To be a special people. He's not that old. To be a special people. Read. Unto himself above all people. Hold on. Now the Bible just said that you're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. Do you believe that? Or do you feel like the Chinese man is equal to you? Right. Say that in the mic, young brother. I can't hear you. I feel like I'm above all people. You are above all people, man. You're above the so-called white man. You're above the Chinese man. You're above all of these kids, man. Now, when you go to school, how does the Chinese man fit in? Does he fit in with you? Right? Can he dunk on you? Can he cross you over? What can the Chinese man do to you, man? Can he dress like you, man? Can he wear the panda ducks like you, man? Can he wear the Detroit versus everybody like you, man? Can he do a damn thing against you? He can't do anything against you, man. Because you're an Israelite. You're a king. Right? Read. Huh. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth That are upon the face of the earth So as you continue to grow and understand the truth, brother You have to understand nobody alive is better than you The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans Bring it out The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 18 yeah. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom The Lord said we're going to take the kingdom right. Taking the kingdom is an action word, man right. I mean, the brothers can't be slothful this ain't something you just do on a Shabbat, man. You do this all the time, week in, week out. Studying, praying, uncovering history, diving into geography, going into the Hebrew, being an example, being a light, and actually living of the things of the gospel. The Lord said we shall take the kingdom. Give me the book of 1 Corinthians, right, chapter 9 and verse number 11. Read. And possess the kingdom forever. For what? 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 forever. Right. right, what? Even forever and ever. Even forever and ever. Right. Meaning there's not going to be no end to your reign as a king, man. Right. You're never going to get off the throne. You know when you go to Six Flags and your mom said, all right, time to pack it up. Right? You got damn a sleepover with your friends and y'all out playing the, uh, the damn game system. And it's always time to cut it off. Because you got school in the morning, man. Right. Right? It's the time to stop eating the snacks. It's the time to stop having fun always on this earth. But you're never going to stop having fun in the kingdom, huh? Right. There's never going to be a time when somebody tells you to stop. Be quiet. Go on. Shut up. Get over here. Get over there. You're going to be the one giving orders, man. Right. Bring that out. First right. Corinthians 9 and 11. If we have sown unto you spiritual things. Start at 14. Verse 14. Yeah. Even so have the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel. They that preach the gospel. Meaning these men out here are examples. Right, Read. Should live of the gospel. We shall live of the things that are of the words of God. Right. I'm going to ask you a question, young brother. What can you eat? Can you eat all things that are upon earth? You can't? Well, what can you eat? Do you eat pork? You eat pork? Your mother eats pork? Your father? Now, according to the Bible, do you think we can eat pork according to the Bible? You think so? All right, well, we're going to dive inside of the Bible, and we're going to show you commandments. <laughs> commandments are what we have to keep as a nation of people. Give me the book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 8. Right? right? Give me the book, right, of Isaiah, chapter 28. Bring it out, bring it out. And verse number 8. And we're going to dive inside of the scriptures and show you if you can eat these things or not. Give me the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse number 3. Bring that out. Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself. The, with the portion of the king's meat. Right, so Daniel said in his heart, I'm not going to defile myself with the portion of the king's meat. Right. You know what the kings of this world will have you to eat, young brother? Shrimp, crabs, lobster, and all manner of things that confuse you and then turn you upside down. Right. Now, next thing you know, you got gout, got high blood pressure, right. your organs is dying, you're throwing up, you're unhealthy, you're obese, you're not thinking in your right mind, you're slothful, right. and you don't know why. Read nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the princes, of the eunuchs, 
that he might not defile himself. That he what? That he might not defile himself. That he might not defile himself. Eating pork. pork is defiling yourself, brother. So when you look at the pork, you got to look at a man like Daniel in the Bible. He said, like, I'm not going to not ever defile myself with the portion of the king's meat, man. Whatever they shove on a plate, you got to say no. If it's going against God's commandments, I can't eat that. Bring that up. Isaiah 28 and verse 8. Yeah. For all tables are full of vomit. And the Lord said all tables are full of vomit. When you go to Applebee's, it's full of vomit. Because they serving you damn crabs, man. Right, right. You go to all of these different places like Red Lobster, it's filled with crabs. All of the places and all of Babylon the Great is nothing but filled with vomit, man. Right. Every place that you go, they're not going to tell you the truth. They're not going to give you God's commandments. Nope. But you can eat clean things, man. You can eat you some lamb, brother. Right. These brothers love lamb up right. here, man. Right. These brothers love grilling the lamb, man. Right. You can have you some lamb. What else can you have, brother? Have you some chicken? I know you like chicken. We love chicken. How you like your chicken, brother? You say crispy? What else? Now you can do a thousand things with chicken, man. You can stir fry some chicken. You can roast you some chicken. You can bake you some chicken. You can fry you some chicken. We can do a lot of things with some chicken, young brother. Hey, what else? You can barbecue you some chicken, man. We be out here all day spreading damn recipes back and forth, man. You can have it up with the chicken. You can eat you some goat. You ever had some curry goat, brother? Got some elk, some bison, right? Right, some roll pup, little venison. You could get in there through the spirit, young brother. You gotta you gotta dive righteously, but you can eat according to the laws of God. This place is gonna confuse you. Read and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. But what about Applebee's? So there is no place clean. What about my grandmother? So that there is no place clean. There's no place that's clean. The only clean place to eat is these scriptures right here. That's the only thing that you can eat, brother. Give me the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 8 and verse number 3. Bring that up. This is Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 3. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication. By seeking by prayer and supplication. So as you come into this thing, young brother, as an Israelite, you got to seek the Mosah by prayer, repetition, reading, praying, fasting to understand the words of God. Bring that up. The book of 2nd Edges. Chapter 8 and verse 3. Yeah. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Three. So answered I and said, Swallow them down, O my soul. Understanding. You gotta swallow down understanding. Meaning the true food is this right here, brother. This was what's gonna feed you. It's gonna build you up. It's gonna strengthen you. Read. And devour wisdom. And do what? And devour wisdom. And devour wisdom. Same way you devour turkey or whatever the case may be, you got to devour these scriptures. Now, I'm going to give you seven commandments. Are you going to keep these commandments if we give them to you? You going to keep them? You prompt. That's your word. As a man, as a young man, you going to keep these commandments? Are we going to give you the first commandment that you got to keep through the Spirit? Give me the book of Leviticus. Right, chapter 19 and verse number 16. 19 and verse 16. Yeah. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tailbearer. As a tailbearer. What's a tailbearer, young brother? Somebody always spreading secrets. Going over here, then they're going over there. They're just all over the place. Give me the book of Sirach chapter 19. Sirach chapter 19 and verse 6. Well, I know in school it's a lot of fights that start where people say, you know what Trevon said? Then they come over here with you, then they go over there. Next thing you know, people surrounding you saying, fight, fight, fight. That toe-bearing spirit and revealing secrets are going back and forth. The Lord hates a murmurer. Bring that up. This is the book of St. Rack, chapter 19 and verse 6. Yeah. He that can rule his tongue. He that can rule his tongue. Shall live without strength. Free. And he that hateth family shall have less evil. Shall have less evil. So when all of the kids are sitting up there talking about drugs, what do they talk about in school, brother? Sex and drugs, don't they? Are you 12 years old? 14, 12? 13? 13 years old, they talking about sex and drugs in the school. That's all. That's wicked, man. Right. Well, what about the days when we used to ride bikes, man? Right. Right. We was outside. Are you going to come home at 9 or are you going to come home at 10? My mom said, come home at 9. Oh, I'm going to be in bad today. Now they smoking weed, robbing you, man. And then a 12 year old pull up on you and he ain't saying Shalom, man. Huh? He said, where that wallet at, man? Where you from? So these kids, they talking about sex. What else they talking about? Drug? What kind of drugs? 
We, what else they be doing? That's good that you don't know, young bro. That's a great thing. So do they try to get you to smoke weed? They don't try to get you to smoke weed? So they be rolling up in the classroom, they with they roll up in the hallways? Oh, praise it, brother. Stay away from that stuff, man. You start smoking that stuff, it's going to start, damn, destroying your mind. Next thing you know, you're going to start moving in a spirit that's going to take you further away from the Most High. You want to draw closer to the Most High. Give me Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9. Whatever I call. What else I call? Leviticus 19. And read on from Sirach. Verse 7. Rehearse not unto another that which is told unto thee. Right. And thou shalt fare never the worst. Right. So don't be a murmurer, a tellbearer. Don't be a gossiper or anybody revealing secrets. Be a man of God and have integrity. That's your first commandment. Because there's a lot of chit-chat in school, man. Right. It's a lot of peer pressure in school. You know, peer pressure leads to death. There's a man in the Bible named Aaron. Give me the book of Exodus, chapter 32. When Moses went upon the mount, peer pressure had Aaron to build the golden calf. Murmuring, chit-chats, all of the people going back and forth. You got to be strong. Somebody say smoke this, you got to say no, man. Right. Somebody say man have sex, you got to say no. Right. Somebody say come to this party, you got to say no. Right. You got to be strong-minded as a young man to believe the words of God and hold it strong. I was talking to this young, uh, young brother through the spirit early about that, man. Right? A peer pressure is, is the devil, man. Right. That will set you away and have you to do things as ungodly. Bring that up. Exodus 32 and 1. And with the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount. When well, people saw that structure wasn't around, when people saw that the Most High God wasn't around by the service of the prophets, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron right. and said unto him, Up, make us gods. We shall go before us. Now, how many people was literally in the wilderness, man? Huh? It wasn't 13. It wasn't 4,000. It wasn't 10,000. It was hundreds of thousands. Right. Imagine hundreds of thousands of men say smoke, drink, sex, be angry, go off. All men of evil. How strong do you have to be in the spirit to say no, man? Think how many people in school, as you get older, brother, are going to tell you to do evil, man. I'm going to tell you to sag your pants. I tell you to do drugs. I tell you to do evil. I tell you to be a nigga and accustom yourself to that lamb image of the beast, man. You have to be strong as a man of God. Say, no, I'm an Israelite, man. I believe in God's words, and I'm keeping God's words. Read off me. And they said, up, oh, make us gods. We shall go before us. And that could have been intimidating, man. They probably swarmed Aaron. Read. For as, for as this, slucky, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we will not what has become of him. Right, we don't know where he went. And Aaron said unto them, break off the golden Aaron. Right, he yielded unto their request. Don't yield unto the request of devils and demons and spirits and all people that are going to confuse you and yank you this way and yank you that way, man. So what's your first commandment that we gave you, young brother? Not to do that. Not to be judged for Let's get no babbling. There you go. No terror bearing. They're going back and forth. Read on. Leviticus. Leviticus 19, verse 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail bearer among thy people. Right. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Do you hate anybody, young brother? Got any enemies? Any kids bullying you? Nobody? Is everything pretty smooth in school? All praise to the Most High. You cannot hate your brother in your heart. As you get older, it's going to be a lot more violence. They be fighting in schools. They be toting guns and things like that. Knives. Well, I mean, this school system is corrupt, man. It's extremely bad. Right? If you don't be careful and prevent yourself from that, brother, you could get drawn into that. Next thing you know, brother, you're going to be in sin. What is sin according to the Bible? You said jail? No, not jail. Take another guess. There's no wrong answer, brother. All right, well, let's find out. Give me the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 20. Let's find out what sin is. Right, and let's get the brother some commandments. It's the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse number 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, 
there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. Right. For by the law, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Is the knowledge of sin. So the Lord said, by the law is when you know when you're in sin. So if you break the law, you will be in what? You will be in sin. And what are we reading? We're reading the laws of God. Right. To obtain the kingdom of heaven, you got to have faith and keep the laws of God. Right. That's the only way you're going to get in, young brother, by having faith in the most high. Give me the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 34. Read. Verse 21. But no, the, but now the righteousness of the most high without the law is manifested. Being witnessed by the law and the prophet. Right, being witnessed throughout the whole scriptures, which is the truth and the faith presented to you by the Lord. Bring that up. The book of Second Answers, chapter 6 and verse 24. Yeah. At that time shall first fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs and the fountains shall not stand still. And in three hours they shall not run. You said 34 is a lot. And hasten not with the times that are past. And the Lord said, don't hasten with the times that are past. To what? To think vain things. To think vain things. Whether everything from yesterday on out, right, is vain now. You have to look forward to the future and these commandments in the kingdom. Read. It says that thou mayest not hasten from the latter times. And it came to pass after this that I wept again. Oh, you can rest right there. So, brother, murmuring. Right? Not hating your brother in your heart. Right? Bring out another commandment. Go to the book, right, of um, Numbers, chapter 15. It's the book of Numbers, 15 and 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel are the Israelites. So who are the Israelites, young brother? Right, we are. That's right. And bid them that they make them fringes. Now, fringes is what all of the mighty brothers have on the borders of their garments. You see, all of these kings, they have fringes on the Lord has commanded us to wear fringes according to the Bible. Not because, you know, it's just something to do or it's a fashion trend. The Lord has commanded us to do this for a reason. And we're about to read it. Read. That they may make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put upon a fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. Right. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. Right, meaning the sun. That ye may look upon it. That you may look upon your fringes and remember all the commandments of the Lord. They do what? Remember all the commandments of the Lord. So remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do them. And do them. So what are these fringes for? To remember what? All the commandments of the Lord. So if you had fringes on and you look down, what would you remember from today on out? What do we go over? All the commandments. Well, what are the commandments? What if your mother makes some ham hock when you get home? She said, baby, I know you've been out. I know you've been out all day, baby. <laughs> right? And she slammed that tape. She slammed that plate on the table. Wow. The juice, all wicked types of juice start hitting the table, man. Wow. Let me wipe that up for you, baby. Don't worry. Then she bring it out back on your plate, man. She said, it's time to eat, baby boy. What you going to do? I can't hear you. Not you. But what if mom oh. told you to do it? Which one are you going to listen to, the most high or your mother? I can't. Oh, oh, who are you going to listen to? Come, come. Come. You got to listen to the most high. Why well, you have to listen to the most high? Looking at these fringes, what else? What else, brother? One more commandment. We don't win over, brother. Say what? Right, what is sin according to the Bible? When you break God's what? Laws. There you go, brother. This brother on fire, man. Clap it up for this young brother, man. Hey, the Most High and the Holy Angels are well pleased by what you're doing, kid. Hey, brothers came all the way out here to teach you, man, and to let you know the truth according to the Bible. So if everybody in the school was doing one thing, give me the book of Exodus, right, chapter 23. Right? In verse number 2. It's the book of Exodus 23 and verse 2. Yeah. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You can't follow multitudes to do evil. You got to stand for what's right, brother. 
And I see something in you that's going to stand for righteousness, man. Right. Not too many kids will sit up here and hear the words of the Most High. Yep. Right? Kids will get drunk, they'll get high, they'll throw rocks, they'll be evil, they'll do all manner of mischief, man. Right. It's a blessing that you're hearing the words of God, man. Right. And the Most High may build you up through the Spirit. We're hoping through the Spirit to have a mighty, 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 mighty lot. To be able to receive the kingdom, man. Huh? Right. And we have to pray for the people we teach out here, man. Huh? Right. It don't just stop with today, man. Huh? Right. You have to remember all of the sick souls that were on drugs, that were lost, right. that were homosexuals, right. that were liars, right. that were thieves, right. that were gangsters. And pray for these people we out here teaching, man. Huh? Right. That's how we going to get out of here. Right, Reed? Good. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Neither shalt thou countenance a poor... A right. Poor man right there. So don't follow multitudes that do evil. You stand for what's right and you stand for righteousness, man. And righteousness, brother, is what a lot of people don't have, man. Do you want righteousness? Do you want the kingdom? How do you get the kingdom? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What's the right thing? Is scoring high on Mario Brothers a good thing? What if you just got all of the latest shoes? Is that the good thing? What's the good thing to do, brother? Keeping God's what? Keeping God's words, but keeping God's what? Start with an L. Laws. Laws. Laws, statues, and commandments. And remember that, King. No matter what you go through in this world, we're not going to overburden you with a thousand precepts and then that breakdowns. We're going to teach you the simplicity and the milk, right? As the Mosai said, give me the book of First Peter, chapter 2, right? Feeds you with food convenient to you, right? So that's very important. Bring that out, King. It's the book of First Peter, chapter 2, and verse number 2. As newborn babes. As newborn babes. Meaning when you get this knowledge, your mind is reformed to live all over again. So as you understand that you're an Israelite, you have to repent. What is repentance? I said, what is repentance? That's all right, brother. I didn't know what repentance was. None of us knew truly what repentance was when we were on the other side, brother. But repentance is to change and reform your mind from an old way and sin that you used to live in. Utterly forsaken and walk in the laws of God. That's what true repentance is, man. True repentance is not walking like a pig with a big damn... That's not repentance, man. To get an uh, oversized damn guitar on your back, man. That's folly and <laughs> madness. Damn <laughs> madness, man. Well, let's go to the book of Job, man. Chapter 13 and verse 23. Esau, man. He can hide that back, but we still going to whip it, man. Bring that up. It's first Peter 2 and 2. As newborn babes. Desire the sincere milk of the word. Right, you have to desire to be taught and desire the words of God. Bring that up. Job 13 and verse 23. How many are my iniquities? And the Lord said, how many are my iniquities? Give me the book of Psalms chapter 19 and 12. We got a lot of iniquities and a lot of sins as people. Read. And sins make me to know my transgression. You have to pray. Now before I get out of here, you have to stay if the Most High will permit. You have to know the name of the Most High. The name of the Most High is Yahweh. Can you say that? Yahweh. And his son's name is, you remember? You got it. You got it. Come on, King. Yahweh Shah. That's right. Yahweh Shah. But you got to say it like you mean it. Right. It's not a Wednesday. It's a Thursday, Friday. When should I wake up? No, you got to say Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Got to say it like you mean it, brother. Right. It's your heritage. Right. Now I'm gonna go. You got to say it in the mic. Say it mighty, baby. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yeah. That's exactly what you say, yo, brother. That's exactly what you say. You pray to the Most High. Yeah. Oh, you got a phone, brother? Yeah. You got a phone? Take a picture of that right there, brother. The twelve tribes of Israel. Right. Your heritage. Right. 
who you are right. is now being found all over again. Right. The end up things that were here secret are given to the youth. And this is spiritual, man. To see the young youth get the word while grown men rebuke. Right, this place is finished, man. The Lord is dealing with the newborn babes. Bring that out. Psalm 19 and 12. 19 and 12. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 12. Yeah. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret thoughts. Right, cleanse thou me from secret thoughts. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Right, we want to be kept back from sin. Right. right? We want to be kept back from sin. So all of the sins and all of the things that we did, we have to remove that and start walking in the ways of God. Right. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 13. No. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 13. Hold on, before we get out of here, who are you according to the Bible, brother? Isaiah. Now you got to say it in the mic, brother. Right. Say it loud. Well, say it, brother. Is a lie. Now we shall. Now and who? Come on, brother. Can say it in the mic. No, right. right, brother. Well. Yahweh and Yahweh shall. Come Bring that up. Isaiah 42 and verse 13. Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry. Yea, war. He shall what? He shall cry. Yea, war. He shall what? He shall cry. Yea, war. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. 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 Now, when I cry like a travail of woman, I will destroy and devour it at once. Pump that shoulder! Pump that shoulder! Pump that shoulder! Don't go nowhere. The next mighty speaker is on the scene.